y'all welcome back to the channel so today is going to be a walmart survival haul y'all the store was going out of business everything was 50 percent off um so here are some of the following items that we got okay first thing here is a deluxe electric fillet knife set and my son had been asking for one of these for a while so we finally got that for him um collapsible bowls I have four of these then over here i have a nine in one multi-tool set it's stainless steel you can carry this in your purse or your wallet and it has like a wing cutter, pliers, a crimp jaw, file with a nail cleaner, screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, flat tip screwdriver, and it has a little attachment right here where you can hook it. So I got that. Then over here, I have a magnesium bar with the striker. And this you can start plenty of fires with if you need to if you ever you know for some reason need to do that and it has a keychain um, connected to it over here i got four of these light switches because i figure you can use these for your kids or anyone really to light up a room if you didn't want to light a candle if you're you know afraid of having um candles lit in your home you can just flip the switch Let's see if you can get a and it, it will light up a room y'all it really will so I'm gonna put one of these in my pantry because I can't see a thing in there because there's no light in there um, over here we have a, a solar battery maintainer this is by Ozark trails and as you can see from the picture you can pretty much hook anything to it just take it outside let it get the um, sun to charge it up and it's 12 volts 2.5 of the max wattage it has a solar panel battery maintainer a 12 volt dc cigarette lighter plug one pair of battery clamps four suction cups one nylon storage bag to keep it in then over here we got a parish, uh, paracord handle hatchet. And this one is different than the other one. I picked this one out and my husband picked the big, uh, well it's not really big, but it's a wooden handle hatchet. So this one right here, as you can see, it has the different sizes right here that you can chop whatever it is you're chopping. Here's the key to change the setting on the hatchet. I thought that was pretty cool. So like if you want to just cut some starter wood, you can just switch it up and I have the big chunks. So this right here is a purification tablet. So you just drop this in the water and it's supposed to take care of whatever viruses might be in the water. Did I do this one? I don't know if I did or not. The Coleman 74 piece personal survival kit. We got two of these and inside of it, it has six bandages, six small bandages, four butterfly bandages, two spot bandages, two knuckle bandages, five antiseptic wipes, three string relief wipes, two safety pins, two antibiotic ointments, 40 waterproof matches, one razor blade and one reusable tin. So that's cool. Then over here, I found a folding shovel and it's lightweight and it definitely is lightweight and it folds out and it opens right back up just as easy. So y'all, I went over to this section because everybody else was shooting for the TVs and I was on the mindset of, let me get what I need for my prepper emergency room. So we have some batteries here, um, different, kinds of batteries they didn't have any triple a so i couldn't get that y'all I'll, I'll just get some from the dollar store or whatever or sam somewhere um we got four of these rain suits um and it's the top and the bottom i figure you would definitely need um rain gear you don't know what kind of weather you might be in you might be outside stuck 
and you want to stay as warm as possible okay so over here we have a leather wrap hunting knife of course you know my husband got this stuff right here and it says a five-year warranty it's by mossy oak which is a good brand and i love the way it looks i like the angles of the knife and each one i see has a case for it so that's good i don't have to worry about him cutting anything off that i might need later so over here we have the cast iron cook set it's a four piece and the original price was 19 so y'all half off i couldn't beat that you know you can see what you can do with it right here it has the individual pieces um it even has this piece can come off for the skillet then i don't know you know y'all we about to go <laughs> on the land so it's no telling this will come in handy though this will definitely come on come in handy on the homestead um it's a machete so right here i got my targets for when we do go and i can practice my shooting in the woods as opposed to going to the range um over here we have the foldable canteens outdoor it even has the little clip here that you can um, hook to your uh, jeans or whatever and it's one liter we got four of these as well and these were cheap y'all these were regular price like two dollars maybe maybe a dollar and 47 cent I don't know then over here we have some pepper gel and then pepper spray so i was asking my husband what is the difference he was like the gel one is most likely going to be the one that makes it harder to come off once you spray it on um, the intruder so over here we have a coleman camp grill stove and it can hold a 10 inch skillet on there so i can use my skillets on here y'all and coffee very important and then up here we didn't get this today my mother-in-law bought this for me for for Christmas and I love it my husband has one already so now we have two of those and then we have this one here um, the five gallon water container I thought this was nice I I didn't know they had these over there, but when I saw it, I immediately threw it in there. It folds flat for compact storage and transport, easy pour, leak proof, on and off spout, dent and crack resistant. So that's good to have. Because if you know something about to happen, you can go ahead on and load that on up. And while I'm on the water container, so we have these two five gallon water containers, and then we have the six gallon water container right here. And it's BPA, you want it to be BPA free. So this is a six gallon water jug with the pour spout included. And then this one is an aquatainer. It's a seven gallon. And is also BPA free, FDA approved. Over here, we have some more lights. We have the camping light combo. It's a six piece, as you can see. It has the two um, flashlights here. And you have the one here. I think it goes either on your wrist or your head. I'm not sure. And then you even have the two pin looking lights and then a little tiny lantern. I thought that was so cute. And that's it on the back. So I will be getting extra batteries, y'all. So I don't know if batteries are included with it or not. So we got two of those. Then over here, we have the Life Straw. We already have one or two. So we got two more water bottles with the filter. It filters out bacteria, parasites, chemicals, and pesticides. And it's a microplastic, BPA-free, and it's supposed to improve the taste. This is what it looks like when you take it out like that so you're supposed to be able to just stick it in the stream and get your water i won't be testing that like don did from peggy and don so i'm sorry don i'm not doing it 
um, but I'm sure it works. Okay, so this right here is a heavy duty work and area light. And as you can see, it has a magnetic feature to it so you can place it on something and be hands free with it. It says hyper touch. I guess I'm gonna have to put some batteries in it. I don't know what type batteries, but we'll see. And then next we have all this beef jerky, y'all. I saw it up there. I said, let's just go ahead and get it. My son loves eating it. I eat it from time to time. And it's a good source of protein. As you can see, this hickory smoke one has 11 grams of protein, 80 calories. You got 12 grams of protein over here. So you want to be able to have your protein no matter how it comes. So this one is turkey, turkey jerky. Jalapeno. I only got one of these because I didn't know how it, what it tastes like, but I like jalapeno. So jalapeno, another turkey, teriyaki here, hickory smoke, and what's the other one? Oh yeah, the steak strips, extra thick cut. I won't be eating those. I've had those and they're okay. It's just very. It's a lot of chewing with that, and I'm not for it. I'm not here for it. Okay, so. The next thing we got was four of these emergency food ration bars. And you know, these are definitely backups, y'all. So it's vacuum packed for long life, should be five years, probably longer shelf life. Um, if you got a shelter in place and you don't have any food and here are the, you know, calories and all of that stuff on the back. So it says good to, October 2024 so that's awesome to know I'm gonna put those on in there and all the other um, stuff like this was gone this was the only thing left y'all so of course I had to get it because I want to try it it's an ice cream sandwich as you can see and I love mint chocolate chip mint chocolate chip is my favorite is ice cream ever so I got like two, three, four, five. And the reason I got five is because I'm gonna try one of these for y'all. Let me know in the comments if you want me to try one of those. Um, so this right here is the gear bag and this is what it looks like opened up. And so I basically got these to put some of those things that I just bought in it. And I bought three of these because my husband already has his go bag. We needed our own so y'all, that's it for the haul. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, I thank you for being here. If you are new, welcome to the channel. I appreciate you for coming over here. Um, if you have not hit the red button and joined the family, please go ahead and do so. And make sure you like this video, share it out. Leave me some comments down below. Do you have, um, what do you have in your emergency prepper pantry room? Let me know if you have any ideas for other content that you might want to see on this channel. And I will be talking to y'all in the comments. So y'all take care. Remember that I love you, but God loves you more. He created only one you, so be the best you that you can be. And when you're that person, you can go out and spread God's love with distance. And go out there, get what you need for your family. You don't have to overdo it. Um, I don't consider this overdoing it. I just consider this making sure we are secure. And this is a part of what I can do to make my family feel safe and not have to worry if something were to take place in this world that we live in today. So y'all take care and I will talk to you on the other side of tomorrow. Bye y'all.